hello, internet uh, strangers, hi. Um, I have this little blue gateway. It's a gateway from Walmart. Uh, what is the model number? G W T N one one six dash one B L. Uh, it's the AMD A4. I forget how much RAM it has. It's got a sixty four gig integrated. It's 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 an it's an EMMC. Um, <clears throat> And I bought it a while ago, and I put Linux on it, and then I wanted to put Windows back on it, and I had a problem, which is when I would, uh, so there's two USB sticks. This right here is the Windows 10 installer. This has some other stuff. Um drivers <laughs> driver packages but here's the thing i have this little blue gateway gwtn116 i wanted to reinstall windows 10 um, there's not like a restore iso or anything like that so i used uh, the Windows 10 Media Creation Tool on my Dell, uh, which doesn't have a battery, so it's a desktop. Um, Dell. Dell. <laughs> Dell, this monitor is connected to the Dell. I'm not sure what's going on with my wallpaper. It's supposed to be prettier than that. I don't know. Um... So I wanted to reinstall Windows on this for reasons. And um, when I booted into the Windows 10 installer, it told me, oops, we can't find a drive to install to, which is upsetting. And I did a lot of digging. I found like random links. Mm -hmm on the Gateway USA website that allegedly <laughs> led to the drivers to download? No, they did not. So, here's what I ended up doing. After a lot of Googling, I ended up on the Lenovo website. Again, this is a gateway. I ended up at Lenovo. Surprise, the ThinkPad people save the day. So I ended up on the support website. I'll put a link down below. Um, for the Slim 1-14 AST-05 laptop bracket idea pad, close bracket. Which led me to the download pay to the download for the Bayhub Tech Integrated EMMC driver version 1.3.101.1038. It's a 1.5 megabyte download. I downloaded. So what that download gets you is this file right here. It's uh, what's the file name? TRSB zero two zero F four zero xba0.exe so when you run this file 
Uh, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? You're going to select yes. English, because that's what I speak. Accept the license agreement. Next. So when you're in this setup program, this big thing right here, um, from Lenovo, you open it, you allow it to make changes to your computer, you accept the license agreement, you want to go to Extract Only, Next. It'll spit out a random um, path. You can go with the default, I guess, as long as you know where it is. I did. I uh, changed the path. So if we go into my, this PC, Latitude HD, I put it in a folder called EMMC, and I moved all the files instead of copying them. But there will be a .dll, I think it's the .dll, that it, you know what? Let's try it. Shift to, oopsies. Shift delete Y. We'll go back to my downloads. We'll run this folder, run this file. Yes, allow it to make changes. English, yes. I accept the agreement next. Extract only next. We're going to put it in C, semicolon, slash E, M, M, C. Extract. I give you this pop up. Okay, finish. So once it extracts everything, you'll want to go to this PC, C drive, EMMC, right here. Uh, BHTV5LCON.DLL. What I did is I copied all of these over to a separate flash drive, stuck that into my gateway when Windows came up and said, oh no, I can't find a hard drive. I browsed for a driver, you know, told it to look at this flash drive. It found it. It found the driver. It installed it. It allowed me to delete the Linux partition partitions that I had which was uh, an EFI partition and then an EFT4. I didn't have a separate homes directory, but I was able to delete those and then finally tell it to install to the internal EMMC. So we're gonna see if it boots right now, I guess. Are y'all having a good day? I hope you are. I probably should have pulled the uh, installation drive out of the computer to force it to boot from the EMMC. But see, I did not have this gateway and spinning Windows logo, or spinning Windows boot up thing before. I'm very curious to see what happens. Gateway, gateway. But yeah, this right here was just to get you over the uh, EMMC driver not found thing. Um, if there are other driver issues, I will report back acting all kinds of crazy right now. Oh, it's getting devices ready. I'm sure that'll be fun. But yeah, so if you've got one of these cheap little gateways from Walmart, check Lenovo for your drivers. I don't, I don't really know what to tell you about that, because that's weird. But I couldn't find any of this <laughs> information before, so I wanted to put it out there. And now it's out there. Get it from Lenovo. I'll try to put a link in the description down below. Have fun. Be safe.
love your face.